In that song it does say, though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon. Yes. You know, the Bible states that Jesus was the only man who never sinned. And it also states that as he was holy, so we're supposed to be holy. Mm. <clears throat> but we have all sinned. And there are people who say, because of what I've done, yes. or because of what my family has done, that I could never be saved. There's no sense in me coming. I'm doomed. They give up. Well, if Jesus never sinned, that certainly cannot be said of his human family tree. Because there were many skeletons in his human family closet. Now, if you've ever done your genealogy, you know that there's usually skeletons somewhere in the past. People who weren't the best. And the same was true of Jesus' past. The Bible's full of genealogies, most of which we skip over because they're full of unusual names and mispronunciations and people who don't mean anything and it's just a boring way to do things. But there are some which are important. There's a genealogy in Luke, in Luke chapter 3, which tells about the genealogy of Christ right back to Adam. And if you notice, it's all the men. It's the genealogy through the male line. Because in those days, women, for the most part, weren't considered to be very important. However, if you look at the genealogy in Matthew, mm -hmm. there are five women mentioned. And part of this is to show what God can do and how he uses people. Because these relationships were not what we consider very good. There's a time when Judah was involved with a woman named Tamar. Now Judah was one, the leaders of one of the 12 tribes, the beginning of one of the 12 tribes, the tribe of Judah. And he was married to a woman named Shua, who was a Canaanite. Now, the Hebrews were not supposed to intermarry, but he did. And he and Shua had three sons. His son, Ur, married this woman, Tamar. However, he was not a nice man. It says, the Bible says, God killed him. His brothers were supposed to marry Tamar, but they did not. And Tamar at one stage posed as a prostitute to entice her father-in-law, Judah, to lie with her. And he did. And she conceived by that relationship the twins. One of whom was called Perez, and Perez is in the lineage of Christ. Not a nice way to start, but a relationship nonetheless. There is another person by the name of Rahab who was a true prostitute, who sheltered the spies of Joshua. Apparently, Rahab became straightened out after that and married one of those spies, Solomon, and they had a son. His name was Boaz. Boaz is in the lineage of Christ. Mm -hmm. Boaz, in turn, married a Moabitess, another race that was supposed to be not welcomed in Judah. There was an evil pagan system. But she also came to know Jehovah, and she married Boaz, and they had a son called Oban. You see, these were people that God used even though their backgrounds were not great. Mm -hmm. David himself had an affair with a woman named Bathsheba, an adulterous relationship, and she conceived. 
It was a point that David had Bathsheba's husband murdered in order to cover it up. She conceived and bore a son called Solomon. And there was a little girl, a young teenager from a very poor family, who believed the angel was real and was not some kind of schizophrenic hallucination, but was real and went along and she bore the Savior. Women were not considered to be very much in those days. But these five all played a huge part mm -hmm. in the lineage of Christ, the human lineage of Christ. The whole situation was not really good, but these people showed that God can take anybody yes. from any situation yes. and provided they're willing can turn that situation around. Yes. Regardless of backgrounds, regardless of lifestyles, regardless of what people have done, there's what we've all done. God can use any one of us for his purpose if we let him. Yes. And through the lineage that was designated by these women and the men was born the Savior for all of us. Anybody can be used of God if we will let him do so. Yes. Very simple, mm -hmm. but it's always something to think about. Mm -hmm.